From around 2010 onwards, a global epidemic was detected that was as destructive as it was unexpected. No virus nor bacteria was at the origin of it. And yet the threat is more than real. In some parts of the world, there is a massive epidemic of myopia. Myopia is not just a simple problem of getting glasses. This is one of the top causes of blindness. 83% of 20-year-olds in Singapore are myopic. Even with the best eye doctors in the world, once myopia has been diagnosed, it cannot be reversed and perfect vision will never return. Asia may be bearing the brunt of the problem, but the rest of the world is not far behind. In Europe, that figure isn't as great, it is rising, and with every decade of birth we're seeing more and more myopia. So it is a war that we need to work at. Across the world, scientists are engaged in a race against time. What is the cause of this epidemic? And more importantly, can it be overcome before our children all become nearsighted? The scientific community is now starting to take action to combat this threat which hangs over the whole world. To put a stop to the epidemic, it was important to work out where to start and what the causes might be. The first line of research that the scientists explored was genetics. Is myopia passed on to us by our parents? Is it in our genes? Professor Chris Hammond, genetic specialist at King's College London, heads one of the leading teams in this area. What we found is one region on the genome, on chromosome 15, which uh, is in a gene called RAS, GRF1. But what it showed is that that gene is associated with myopia. And at the same time, our collaborators in the Netherlands found a single gene, too, on chromosome 15 as well. But just when they thought they had found the gene responsible for the onset of myopia, more than a hundred other genes were subsequently identified as being equally to blame. For the geneticists, it's impossible to know which ones are the most significant.